All right, Dylan, let's sound the alarm because it could be time for an overreaction. Now, we saw the injury to Dennis Cantor tonight, and we wonder if that, with Cantor slamming his hand into a steel chair that didn't give back. Uh, steel chair is undefeated. <laughs> in wrestling and in basketball. Mm -hmm. Could this actually affect Russell Westbrook's MVP Canis? Because with that forearm fracture, after punching that chair in the wind tonight, he's going to miss six to eight weeks. Yeah. It's... So there goes your big fella, and that helps getting certainly re uh, getting some assists. And now, it does it hurt potentially Russell Westbrook's uh, MVP candidacy? It could. It's hard to say. It depends on how Russell and the team responds. If they can win games, uh, you know, and they can not only stay afloat and tread water, but they can win and you have no canter. I mean, this is something we all have to kind of take note of, all of us, and certainly those that are voting for an MVP sure. that, that, that are tasked with that responsibility. I don't know that there's ever been a year where it's more important to take every factor and calculate that into your decision. This is part of the factor. Now, if they slip off and they start to lose, I, I think it could be okay for Russell because if they don't win as many games as, say, Harden and the Rockets, and they start to fade a little bit, even if they're flirting with that 7-8 seed of missing the playoffs in the Western Conference, it's not going to help Russell's chances, but you have to factor this in. This is arguably their best player other than Russell Westbrook, yeah. of which the supporting cast we already have our doubts about when you compare them, say, forget to the Warriors or the Cavs or the Spurs, just when you compare them to Harden's That's supporting it. cast, which is, you know, the, the Andersons. They're going to go, oh, he's Gordons, winning more in Houston, Capellas. so he's going to get the, the edge of Russell. They've a better team. They That's should be winning the, more. The refrain, right? Yeah. Um, but all that being said, there's a way for this to really help Russell. If the numbers stay where they are, if they win, can win games and we're able to throw in, and they don't have Cantor because of the stupid forearm chair. And he today. still wins and does these. Then, it, then I think this could really distance him from James Harden. Mm -hmm. That could be the one thing Harden doesn't have is now there's no argument with no Cantor for six to eight weeks who has the better supporting cast. It's clearly Harden. There's no argument anymore. I already thought it was that way. Now it's not even close. And if he can win games and they can win games, you think like then it, it could help his cause because it just shows how much he has to do to to propel this team to victory. Do you think like Harden would be like, "Hey, Clint Capella, go go slam your hand"? Like I got to equal. He galulies him, <laughs> right? Why? I got I to gotta, I gotta take out one of my big men because that. Beard? Why? Just because you wanted the MVP.